Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Monday, December 19th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant run. NFL delivers again on a wacky Sunday. The back door covers. The team's coming in through the back door. Amazing. Let's start with the Raiders. We told you it would be a home game. It was. Chargers practiced all week, piping in crowd noise. Raider fans took over that stadium. They win. They're in the playoffs for the first time since 2002. But the Lambeau missed extra point was huge. Raiders win by three. Raiders one out of seven in the red zone and still get the money. The big fumble late by San Diego and the Farrell fumble and the Raiders survive. It was a struggle. Janikowski's fourth field goal get him, gets him the money in that one. The, how about the Steeler total? The Steelers and the Bengals were a combined three of nine in the red zone. That was bet up to 46 the total. Steelers went for too late, didn't get it. Oh, they had to settle for all those uh, field goals. And they take the knee at the end. That was nuts. And how about the Bears? Green Bay up 17 against Matt Barkley in the second half. Here comes Barkley. They almost win the game. And then, whoops, they tie it. Nelson gets behind the DBs. Huge win for Green Bay. I, again, great job by Rodgers. I thought he was nuts. He thought they could run, win, or, excuse me, run the table. And they get Minnesota at home and then at Detroit. Huge win there. Barkley, 362 yards. And how about Ty Montgomery? malinsky has been telling everybody about Montgomery. 16 for 162. And that was uh, crazy in that one. Maybe the worst beat of the day, though, if you had the Ravens. They're up 10 with six minutes left, and they're in the red zone. For whatever reason, they throw on first down, and Flacco gets picked after the game. Not only was he picked, Philly returns it to midfield. Harbaugh said it was the worst play call ever. And then they get the ball back, craziness. They score with four seconds. Philly goes for two in the win. They don't get it. Baltimore survives. But you're up 10 with six minutes. Tucker's not going to miss the field goal. You should cash that ticket and hopefully punch it in, or at least settle for three if you're laying five in that one. That was bad, and a horrible decision to throw the ball there in that one. Then you have Andy Reid. This is why Andy Reid will never win the big game. They score 14 points right away. Nice creative handoff to Hill. He houses it. The bomb to Macklin. They score 14 points right off the bat, right? They sit on it the rest of the game. They go very conservative. They can't do anything. It's fourth and one from midfield. For the Chiefs, Kansas City, excuse me, Tennessee has one timeout. Does Andy Reid go for it with three minutes left? No, he punts. Tennessee comes all the way down. They score, but they get the stop. They stop the two-point conversion. Malarkey doesn't go on side. Very surprising, right? Third and two, Mickey Mouse play. Don't get it. Punts, and then you saw it was suck up. He, she's short from 53 Reed calls the timeout before the miss to ice suck up. He makes the next next one. Bye-bye two seed. Now they need help. They're still going to make the playoffs. But that is a huge difference when you're talking about that home field advantage in Arrowhead from being the one of the two to opening up on the road and you're the five or the six. Horrible job by Andy Reed. Always sits on the lead. They were moving the ball on the Titans. And again, he went conservative. It's fourth and one. Trust your offense to make a play. And the defense, hey, they finally they couldn't stop Mariota. And a huge win there. For, uh, for the Titans in that one. Stafford, there it is. What I tell you about Matt Stafford, he stinks. Come on, Isco, you know better. One win in his career on the road against a team that finished the season with a winning record. They don't get in the end zone yesterday. Giants defense nasty. Well, it looks like they lost Jenkins. You're thinking maybe the back door's open with Detroit. Nope, Stafford throws the interception late uh, in the end zone. And the loudest ovation of the day had to have been Houston when they benched Osweiler. 72 million, get him out of there. And comes the Macho Man Savage. Terrific, 260 yards, and Gus Bradley fired after the game. Another coach gone, 14 and 48. That's his record. So loyal to Bortles, it's the reason he got whacked. And how about Jacksonville? Remember, their points gift wrapped because of the Osweiler interceptions that were deep in their own territory. And then their touchdown was off a kickoff return by Lee. I believe their first in nine years they sit on the broadcast. So a huge win, gutsy win for the Texans. There was no quarterback controversy. Savage must start Saturday night at home against Cincinnati on NFL Network. And uh, wow, he, he was that guy is horrible, Osweiler. Just stares receivers down. And I'll tell you, here's some staggering numbers. How about the no-show of the week to the Minnesota Vikings? AP comes back. They took money. He had six carries, didn't do anything, and had a fumble. First half yards, 281 to 69. First downs, 21 to 2. Time of possession, 23 to 6. The Vikings couldn't run any plays. They couldn't get any stops. They ran 13 offensive plays in the first half. Fewest plays and a half since the Falcons in 2012. That's from ESPN Stats and Info. What a horror show for the Vikings. And the Colts somehow, some way, stay alive. Monday Night Football. Good game coming up. 
Now, the Redskins, a little bit of pressure now. The Redskins, with that Tampa Bay loss, know if they went out there in the playoffs. And amazing but true, the Redskins have lost 15 of their last 16 home games on Monday Night Football. Now they're laying seven? I'll, I'll take the points. Sure. No pressure on Carolina. Check to see the status of Keekley, though, uh, as well. Time to tell you what I'm betting. A couple of big feature pro picks up at pregame. Spartan and Essler with their college football bowl game of the year. Those picks are over my shoulder. Get that. Uncle Dave loves this one. Two big bowl games of the year up there as well. And today, the Miami Beach Bowl, three-star J.R. O'Donnell. That game comes up uh, 11.30 Pacific. Now we got these day games coming up, so be careful. Watch that. Don't get shut out the window. Get JR's three-star pick over my shoulder. Easy winner yesterday with the Lions and Giants under. Never had a chance. We, 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 we uh, cashed that ticket, a 9-3 and three run in the NFL. Nothing today. See if the pros can agree on a game coming up. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. Koken likes Kansas State against Texas A&M. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranked it. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We will talk to you Tuesday on pregame.com.